Hello dear viewers, welcome back to our channel Basic Home First Aid where we give you the basic first aid skills you need to help someone around you or yourself. Today we are going to see how to apply basic first aid for a strain and a sprain injury, how to recognize it and what you should do in such a situation. Before we continue, make sure you click on the subscription button to know when we release a new video. The softer structures around bones and joints, the ligaments, muscles, and tendons can be injured in several ways. Injuries to these soft tissues are commonly called strains and sprains. They occur when the tissues are overstretched and partially or completely torn by violent or sudden movements. For this reason, strains and sprains are frequently associated with sports. A strain occurs when the muzzle is overstretched, it may be partially torn, often at the junction between the muzzle and the tendon that joins it to a bone. In a rupture, a muzzle or tendon is torn completely. A strain is sometimes called a muzzle pull or tear. Strains often result from overexertion, such as lifting something too heavy or walking the muzzle too hard. It commonly involves the muscles in the neck or back, the front or back of the thigh or the back of the lower leg. A sprain is the partial or complete tearing or stretching of ligaments and other tissues at a joint. It usually results when the bones that form a joint are forced beyond their normal range of motion. It is often due to a sudden or unexpected retching motion that pulls the bones in the joints too far apart, tearing the surrounding tissues. Strains and sprains should be treated initially by the RISE acronym, where R stands for rest the injured part, I apply ice pack or cold pack, C provide comfortable support with mild compression from an elastic bandage, E elevate the injured part. This procedure may be sufficient to relieve the symptom, but if you are in a doubt, treat it as a fracture. How do you recognize this type of injury? There may be pain and tenderness, difficulty in moving the injured part, especially if it is a joint, swelling and bruising in the area. Your aims with such a casualty are to reduce swelling and pain, to obtain medical help if necessary, help the casualty to sit or lie down, support the injured part in a comfortable position, preferably raised, cool the area by applying a cold compress such as an ice pack in a towel to the injured part. This helps reduce swelling, bruising and pain. Apply comfortable support to the injured part. Leave the cold compress in place or wrap an elastic bandage around the area. Secure it with a support bandage that extends to the next joint. For an ankle injury, the bandage should extend from the base of the toes to below the knee. Support the injured part in a raised position to minimize bruising and swelling in the area. Check the circulation beyond the bandages every 10 minutes. If the circulation is impaired, losing the bandages. If the pain is severe or the casualty is unable to use the injured part, arrange to take or send him to the hospital. Otherwise, advise the casualty to rest the injury and seek medical advice if necessary. Thank you for watching this video. Hope it helps someone out there. Don't forget to click on the subscription button and on the notification bell for more life-saving content. Stay safe and never forget this. If not you, who?